Hello, it's Charity, and I'm here with a do rag tutorial. Um, what I have done is create a jig. If you've seen my sock jig video, I use the exact same method, except for a lot less precise. I just took some photo, I mean, photo paper, poster board, and cut the like kind of rounded the top off. Like, if you know about a do-rag, I don't have another word for do-rag. In my culture, it's called do-rag. Um, it's some type of hair wrap. I'm sure it could be used for bikers and things like that. I've seen bikers with actual do-rags on. Not sure what they call it. But, um, anywho, I have hit a quick pre-press. And the trick here that I've done is put a piece of tape here to stabilize and keep these two together and then I did the same for down here okay um, I have some clips of that that I will put in here really quick but that will be what I'm referring to so um yeah so like I said this is taped down we are ready to go okay So I'm going to make it flush again. And you do that by dragging it. Dragging it. Okay. I'm going to pull the other side. Pull on the other side. And don't just pull the strings. Pull the actual body of it gets it right and that's what I was referring to about the seam um, let's see okay I think this is as good as it's going to get have this tape down there for stability and let's see last time because this keeps um pressing up and i want it to be perfect up against the edges because i'm not sure i might leave the other side um not blank but put a single image that is on like a white background or something okay so this is up here perfectly pretty much Again, I'm going to grab the body and in a couple places, tug, tug, which I think that looks good. Pretty good. And then I can hit the end of the jig like this a little bit right here where it feels empty. Just to kind of fill it on up. Okay, this is a lot of nitpicky you can do this all day but the more time you spend here I think the better your product will look because it's like what are you doing it for okay so I have my image like I said I'm gonna make it perfect up against the top I'm gonna hide can you see me I'm hiding this Hold on, let me get, ah, one of these days I'll get the right angle. Yeah, maybe I should come down here. Okay. All right. All right, anyway. So I'm gonna be moving the do-rag string for the bottom part moving it all the way to that corner okay so that it will not interfere in any way shape or form so and you use your regular press settings I'm not one to really adjust um time temp and all of that I'm not
So here I have it laid up against here. And I'm going to come look from this way because like I said, I want this to be fully covered and perfect. Which, if you like think about if you're like rolling a rolling pin, that is a good way to flatten it out and make sure everything is in line too. So, yeah, I'm going to slide my actual butcher paper down here some more. And I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Not putting, oh, tripping. This would have moved so easily. So, I'm going to tape down my, um, tape down my, I guess this to my butch paper is what I'm trying to say. So boom, locking it in place, making a little pillow just to keep things fine and in line because as you see, wobbly wobbly press here. Wobble baby. So keeping it here. Just seeing how much, if anywhere, I could uh, tack it at here, but then also going to tack this to here. Keep in mind, flat, flat, flat. So I do have some, yeah. I have some butcher paper. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top. And I'll be back when the press is ready to pop. All right, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna pop this boil on a little bit early just to say thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Um, we hit that goal literally January 1st. I'm so happy, so excited, and for that reason, I am doing a giveaway. You heard right. A giveaway, a giveaway, a giveaway, a giveaway. Um, a 1K giveaway. Um, I have not decided what it's going to be yet, but if you know me, you know I'm a little extra, so yeah stay tuned it'll probably be a mystery box or something like that but i'm so excited y'all thank y'all for being here um and bearing with me just through you know my growth and i appreciate y'all we're about 20 seconds in um if you don't follow me on instagram please do so at arison company uh facebook arison company you know Trying to grow that this year. Growing that this year. Okay. Okay. Let's see where y'all are and if you can see me well. You see, that's why I put it in this whole little pocket thing. Okay, I was looking like, is this even in the press? It is. Um, for a lot of people have been asking this press is 16 by 24. I can see the image. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Look at us. Look at this. Y'all, this is cute. This is actually super cute. It's hot right now, so this is all I can give you. This is our Valentine situation here. So, with this little thing here, not a big deal. I will print another one um, because I'm doing socks and possibly boxers um 
So definitely going to continue this with a strip down. I will probably just look at my sheet and try to line this up as a continuation. Probably just copy it from here and bring it down as a continuation. But I think holding this in place here was crucial and I think it worked in my favor. I definitely do that again. Um, I love it. This little jig situation still hot held on yeah, yeah, yeah i love it i love it i love it so i probably will just flip this over to the other side i have a picture of Eris that i was going to use on a canvas or something um also y'all you see this this is real transfer we should have ditched it and look this is what i meant by wanting this to be pretty flush up against there actually um what was I about to say 13 by 19 is a bit too small for this actually unless you break it up or you use something that does not have a background so I will I wasn't going to do both sides like this but I might as well especially with this now I think it's super cute but uh, another alternative way and I may do that is just press this picture of Eris on it let's see if it lines up like I was saying and this will be a little bit more difficult for me personally because I don't just get to I have to start start it this way and then roll it this way for this to my seam tricks to work but you're seeing it from the other side so that's kind of why I wanted this to be on top on the seam to be underneath the jig so that this can be out like that. Although it didn't work, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna prop one of them. I said I'm going to. I'm gonna go ahead and print another. Just to do the other side. Or let's see. Or not. Let's see. Okay, so I have this of a baby girl. Mm -mm. I'm not sure. I might do double double because hmm, I don't know yeah just to keep it Valentine's I am going to go ahead and print another proceed so I'll be right back okay YouTube this is the finished look the next day on his head I decided to leave the white because I think it adds a little bit of character. Do, 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 do. Look at that. I love this. So let me get some matching socks. Wait a minute. Let's see the details. We got the kid. Oh, oh, where they the kids here. True love. C Ray plus Lou. Love. Black love, black will, us, the kids, more love, Charity Ryan, Lou. I love this. 